Hello everyone, my name is Ethan and welcome to a Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make large functioning bookshelves in vanilla Minecraft. This can only be done facing a certain direction due to the way minecarts correct themselves. I'll explain that in the video later on. But of course, if you enjoyed this or if you plan to use it, please hit that thumbs up. I really, really does help me out when you hit that like. And of course, guys, this has been around for a little while. But I've only ever seen people elaborate on how to make one working bookcase. We're going to make a bunch, so it should be good. Alrighty guys, so our first two steps, or first two things you got to know, is that as you can see, I'm currently facing south. So this will only work facing north-south, because when you place down your cart like so, facing east-west, the cart automatically turns back forward when it falls, which makes sort of bad <laughs> basically it won't fit then but anyway let's do our first step and name the minecart bookshelf with a big b little little s so bookshelf easy enough Alrighty, guys so we're gonna do a three by three bookcase because even though you can do larger ones this is the most this one works probably 90 percent of the time the others work maybe 80 70 percent of the time so this is a lot easier for a tutorial so let's go three across Place down our three tracks, and you just want to do one cart at a time. So just going to fall each cart, and then we're going to do these two like this. Push them down. What have I done? Oops. There we go. <laughs> Confused myself there. We'll push this one back a little if we can. No? Alright. So because that one's played up a little bit, we're just going to have to do him again. Do this. Bust it. Do that. Push them down. Alright, now we've got two of them working. So we're on to our last one. Drop him down. And we've got all three. All three of our bookcases are now working. So let's get an empty hand. We can right click bookshelf, bookshelf, and bookshelf. Because we renamed them, they have the awesome bookshelf name. Alright, for our second row, let's go one, two, three like this. Get our rails going across. We'll do the same thing as last time. We'll do two on the side. See if we can get them right. That one there is too far forward. You see that? can see how it's extending over the blocks. This one isn't. This one's too far forward. So what we need to do is we need to try again. Bust that. And we'll put a rail here. Like so. Drop it. Still too far forward. It's sort of... It's pretty easy to see when... Maybe we'll do two next to each other like that. <sighs> Going to be a difficult card to get, is it? <laughs> there we go. So that's both of them. And they should both work now. Oh, got to break this one. There we go. Two working carts. Now all we have to do is get this third one right. First time's the charm? Nope. Keep going. The problem that I find with this in vanilla Minecraft will always be that you'll have to constantly be renaming carts. But there we go. That's, that's what, six done? So let's get one out of our hand here. We can access each bookshelf like so. All of them are still working. And we can move on to our last layer. Alrighty, for the final layer, we got to bring the walls up one more like this. So you get a nice looking bookshelf. Don't you worry. Don't you worry about a thing. And then we'll put these three across here like so. And we're going to use the same tricks. Going to do both on each side. Too far forward. Perfect. Hey, that one there has been pretty good so far. Alright, let's do this one again. Too far forward once again. Wow, it's, it's just this one side that wants to be real difficult. Each layer, each layer, just that one difficult side. Pop him down, there we go. And let's just go ahead and see if we can't bust this one out straight away. One, two, three, like that. And there we go. Lucky. Let's do that. And let's go ahead and just go one, two, three to finish off our bookshelf. Personally, I would probably do a little bit of a, a little bit of a, maybe a glowstone along the top or something like that. You know, we can always do one of these bad boys along the bottom here. You've still got your working bookshelf there. There. Oh, wait. I've got to have your hand free is the easiest way because some blocks will interact with each other. And there we go. we got to get the right hitbox. But that is six working bookshelves. Easy. Try not to blow them up or to do this. Walking around them or break the sides. That's probably not a good idea. As you can see there. Even though I can place these blocks back using a piston, it's not the best idea. So you can do this, get your uh, 
two sideways pistons, do this, close them off, but there we go. They're working again. See that? The problem is that sometimes when they move this way, you'll be able to click in the top corner here, but you won't be able to access the bookshelf. See there? You can see that I'm now punching the book instead of the cart. So you've got to be careful whenever mining around these. But besides that, it's a super awesome thing that you can build. I hope you guys use this in your world. I know I plan to when I start my new survival series. It's definitely worth the hassle. Now let's just go ahead and finish it off with a bit of TNT decoration. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Yeah, I was using stone brick uh, monster blocks the whole time. GG.